Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about despair, doubt, worry, fear, hopelessness, and anxiety. Satan and his workers in this world's whole goal is to put all of these in your mind to overcome you. They will do everything they can to impart Satan's emotions in your heart to stop you in your tracks from everything. This includes your relationship with God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to stop you from moving forward in your path with them and to drive you into submission to his will of destruction for your eternal life in their kingdom. So when you feel overwhelmed by life, people, places, or anything, remember these scriptures. First is 2 Corinthians 1, 5 through 10. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. For we do not want you to be unaware, brothers, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he will deliver us again. 2 Corinthians 4, 8-18 We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body of the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death by Jesus' sake, for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Psalm 34, 15 through 22. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. James 1, 19 through 27 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive the meekness, the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away, and at once forgets what he looks like, what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Ephesians 4.31 and 32 Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.26 and 27 be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. James 1.20 For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Ecclesiastes 7.9 Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the heart of fools. Psalm 37.8 Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. 
Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. Proverbs 29.11 A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Proverbs 22.24-25 Make no friendship with a man given to anger, nor go with a wrathful man, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Romans 12.19 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Hebrews 6, 11 through 12. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness to have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those through faith and patience inherit the promises. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonable, reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalms 56, 3, 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust and faith in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God I have put my trust, I shall not fear. What can mere man do to me? Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. 1 John 4, 16-18. So we have come to know and to believe the, the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Joshua 1, 6-9 Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give to them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Proverbs 9.10-12 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. For by me your days will be multiplied, and your years will be added to your life. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself. If you scoff, you alone will bear it. Proverbs 1.7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Matthew 6.34 Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Psalm 118.6 The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Romans 8.31 What then shall we say to these things, if God is for us, who can be against us? John 14.27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Isaiah 43.2 when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Isaiah 41.13 For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fret, Fear not, I am the one who helps you. 1 Peter 5.6-11 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering 
are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Keep ever present in your relationship with God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not only to defeat evil, but also to attain eternal life in their kingdom. Follow their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. Give everything of yourself to them, and they will give everything to you. Give up your, your will for your life and live in their will alone. Get baptized, and you are assured eternal life in their kingdom when you do these things. If you haven't already been saved, call out to God or Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Confess with your mouth, mouth that Jesus is our Lord. God raised him from death, all of your sins, and tell them you give them everything of yourself to them. They will hear you, save you, forgive, you, forgive your sins, protect you, guide, lead, and teach you along with the Holy Spirit in all truth. It is a slow step-by-step -step process, so keep in constant prayer. Ask for everything you need from them. Leave all your problems at their feet and always give them praise and glory for all things good and bad, as it all works for their good and glory, and God works all things for the good of those he loves. Remember, God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth, trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness and steadfastness, forgiveness and salvation, endurance and strength, clarity, courage, calm in every situation, and everything good of them, always be with you, guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.